Okay, today we're gonna to talk about how to properly muzzle a dog. Um, we're gonna use stuffed dogs for today's demonstration. Um, when it's time to muzzle a dog because they're acting aggressive towards you, um, you're going to need to go to our wall where we have all of our muzzles hanging of various sizes. Um, the best thing to do is to look at your dog and kind of eyeball how big the muzzle you think you're going to need. It's okay to bring several options and to change it if it's too big or too small. So um, just eyeballing it, I think this muzzle will work for this size. Um, typically I want to start with my strap a little bigger than I think I'm going to need because it's easier to make it smaller around the head than to make it bigger. So when muzzling a dog, it's best to approach from behind as opposed to in front because if a dog is trying to bite you, then approaching to the front could be dangerous. So I'm going to go from the side and behind and slide the muzzle over the dog, come back behind the head and clip. I want to make sure that ears are not underneath the straps before I start pulling to make sure that I have a snug fit. So I'm going to pull, make sure my fit is snug so the dog cannot pull this off over his head. Um, it's got to be pretty tight, fix, be able to fit maybe a finger underneath, but we don't want the dog to be able to get it off. Um, I'm gonna look and make sure it's a good fit. It does look like a good fit. It doesn't look like he could, um, it's too baggy or that it's too tight. We want our dog to be able to still um, feel comfortable and be able to breathe, but not be able to still get us with his teeth. Um, do not stick your fingers in the front of the muzzle to check for size because we wanna keep our fingers away from the source that's trying to bite us. That's all.